The following is an introduction to logs and reports. Coming up. Logs are fundamental to your 48 administration. Let's look at the log structure and understand how that works. So you can look at the different logs using the graphical user interface in log and report. From there, you will see the different logs, either forward traffic, which, are tra tra which is traffic that flows between your interfaces, local traffic, which is internal traffic, sniffer traffic if you're using packet capture and from there you can see the different security profile logs now you have to enable logs in your policy so let's move to my only policy and scroll down where i can enable log allow traffic to either all sessions or security event i've enabled it on all sessions so let's just move to my ubuntu device let's create let's generate some traffic fox.com and let's open up team viewer so i have team viewer ready to connect and let's move back to my login report and let's see the different traffic. So our traffic actually flows through a policy uh, that we have created. So we can look at the forward traffic. We have all the details. We can look at the source IP at the destination itself. We can also look at the application name. And if we click one of the logs, we can see that we have much more details either in terms of uh, the action that the policy took uh, the application that was used we can also see the security level that was used now you do not have to use just about any security level out there so let's move to our command line config log disk filter where you, you will if you use the show full config you will see that you have different severity levels so let's set the severity to um critical so our logs will be saved using the critical severity levels and anything that is above so let's move back to our logs now if we will uh click on the download logs we can actually open the different logs let's just pick up one log event copy it let's paste it and let's just make it bigger so we can see it now let's look at the structure of the log the log is actually comprised of two parts the header part and the body part the header part is similar in all logs the body part is different the header is up to the vidom that is used so let's split it let's just write down header and that's the header of the log that's the body part all right we can see in the header we can see the date the log id the type of traffic the subtype which is for traffic the level the severity level which is only notice and the vidom that we are working on which currently is the root vidom at the body we will see the event time we will see the source ip that uh, triggered actually that log we will also see the source port the interface that it is connected to the destination ip the policy that we have used and the type of protocol protocol number six is tcp we will also see the action that was done client rst means that the server sent a tcp reset message to the client let's move back another 
good command that you will probably use is the config log disk setting. Now here you can set different uh, different settings that are related to your logs. One of them is the maximum um, log age, which currently by default is seven days. You can change it. It all depends on your hard disk and its storage. Now the last thing is the execute log delete all you can delete all of your logs let's just do it execute log delete all yes let's just refresh and we don't have any more logs now use it carefully don't just delete your logs. Logs are crucial to your organization's security and stability.